Hello everybody and welcome back to the Fidelio incident. My name is Twister and today we are going to try and figure out what hell is going on in this world. How, why is there hail here? Why can't we go past this area? Why does our face hurt when we get hit by frozen ice bits? That makes no sense. So you guys actually really like this game. I'm having a ton of fun with it too. I really want to know what's going to happen. I really want to know what's happening. I'm going to try exploring a bit more. We can squeeze in here. Uh, it's been a few days since I played, so I recorded the first episode, so it might take me a little bit to get back in the groove of things, if you know what I mean. Just see what's over here. Some kind of package. Again, nothing you can actually get from the package, which is fine. Alright, let's, let's move it along. Let's try getting... So we need to open this bad boy up, right? Did we, didn't we, like, turn this one on? I guess we did not. I thought this one was on. Alright, maybe not. I'm just better making a mistake. Let's go back to the hot stuff. And my guess is that we have to turn this bad boy on to actually be able to get anywhere. You still go on freeze! There we go. We are still alive. So we'll probably want to sprint all the way to that bad boy down there. That sounds about right. Hopefully we can make it. I mean, we do have to be able to make it because that's where we came from. If we cannot make it, then something is seriously wrong with the game because... It should be the same distance to and fro, right? Yeah, I agree. So, I kind of ended the episode at a very awkward place, because I ended the episode while being lost. So there is this thing. We have to turn this on. I don't know how we turn this on, because we I think we need to find some kind of tool, some kind of key, that's gonna allow us to unscrew this uh, little nook that's holding the thing in place. There's nothing up there for us, so I think... We actually have to go down. Go to the lake. Have to go towards the lake. We can go to the geyser to unfreeze. We can get stuck in the pipes. Let's walk on the sunshine here. I can actually see in here. Oh, we kind of can more or less, but there's nothing too relevant for us down there. Alright, so let's see what's in the lake. So we have a bunch of jellyfish. Nothing we can do about those. Maybe we can actually walk on the edge here. We cannot. Alright, jellyfish hurt. I have no idea how they sting, because you are supposed to be wearing boots or something. I have no idea how they manage to touch your skin, makes no sense. Alright, let's get back to this bad boy. Um, so we had to go up there, nothing we can do with this thing, maybe we can find, like, I tried looking over... Actually, no, we didn't find anything up in the hills, because we weren't able to reach there. Okay, let's actually see how... How far we can go there. Maybe we can do something with those pipes in that location, let's try that. So I'm guessing that's actually probably going to turn off on either the left pipes or the right pipes. My guess is the right pipes. I guess we need to find a tool before we can actually do anything with it. So let's actually just sprint up here. We will probably die again. This is where we died last time. At the end of the episode, if I remember correctly. We ran up here, didn't find anything of value. And then we froze to death. It was not very pleasant. We don't have anything we can pull over here, which is bad. If we continue running up here, again, we just reach a dead end with nothing to see. Can, like, there's a little bit of a debris here. But that's not very relevant for us at the time, for the, at, at the time being. For the time being, for the time being. It's for the time being, of course it is. Alright, so we actually, we, I wanna, wanna just find out what we need to be doing. I think uh, there has to be something to do with this thing. Because we haven't actually done anything yet. There is a way to turn this on. Why would we have to turn this on? Maybe, maybe there is some kind of hidden uh, lever somewhere on this. I didn't actually take that much of a look. Okay, so this one has got to be the thing down below, right? That the, Turning this on has to be done by using that thing. Uh, where we're going to spawn in a second now. And for that, we need to have some kind of tools. Let's, let's head back. Let's head back where we came from. Again, if I'm making a massive mistake here... Don't be angry, this is my first time playing through the game, I want to explore it for myself, I want to experience it for myself. I just want to quickly try maybe climbing this bad boy. We actually can more or less do that, but not all the way. Alright, let's just head back, warm up a bit. We cannot, we don't have an inventory system, we uh, use items when we ha get them. Can we actually turn this off? Hold on, maybe that's the trick. Oh, okay. All right, that does something for us. Okay, so this... Interesting, interesting. Okay, what does that allow us to do? Can we actually go over here now? 
You can turn this bad boy on. Yes. All right. There we go. There we go. Okay. That's the trick. We moved the flow, guys. We did it. Heading back and experimenting was all that was required. So, yeah, that uh, th there is only one steam. It moves through the pipes. The further it gets, the more stuff it lights up. Get to the and I can actually stand here and not freeze to death. And we can explore a little bit more. See what is waiting for us on the other side. Again, we didn't need a tool. We just needed a little bit of uh, brain power to figure out the riddle of the Sphinx. What is here, though? What do we do here? We can get a door. Oh, it's a shield. All right. Okay, let's run back. So we got a shield. The human was called my shield. We can use it to protect from hail, I'm, I'm guessing. We can have it in our arms, right? Uh, yeah, we have it in our hand. Can we use it somehow? No, it's just gonna stay there for the rest of the game. Actually, I'm guessing we're gonna go to the hail and it's gonna fall out of our hands at the end of the line there. I maybe should have turned this thing back on, but I don't think that's really necessary. Uh, I think all of us over there. We should be able to reach this thing easily. We're fast enough. There we go. We are alive. Alright, let's go to the hail. It's gonna be a bit tricky. Because we have to worry about the hail and what freezing to death. But hopefully we can do it. Come on! Oh, we can actually... Okay, we just can't turn. Interesting. Just saving us. Yeah, stupid island man. Interestingly enough, we are not freezing here. It's kind of weird. I mean, it's it's probably so that you don't have to go to the flames uh, for gameplay reason, but it's kind of weird, right? Like, we are so worried about freezing to death, and now all of a sudden it doesn't really matter. Kind of strange. That's what I really expected. Alright, we're almost there. Oh god, this is actually very frozen. It's very cool. Looks very cool. Oh, are we... Are... What? Oh, no. No! What the hell? <gasps> oh, God. I think we just fell. I think we fell in the bunker that was below the mountain. Okay, this is creepy. This is really creepy. What is going on? This looks like a prison of some kind. Were we in prison? Is that our memory? Is that why we are running away from everything? Is this prison break? Is it making a comeback already? Who knows? But that was just uh, our imagination because we were unconscious. There we go. Nightmares return! Alright. Achievement unlocked. Again, I don't record my Steam overlay when recording video games. So you cannot see the achievements that pop up. Where are we? Are, this is a familiar area. Do we know this place? Hold on, where are my subtitles? Just find her. Interesting. Okay, w once we find her, how are we gonna get off the island? I, I'm kind of curious about that. Okay, we're gonna freeze to death if I don't do anything. Mm, this is a complete dead end. Apparently. Alright, that's fine. To be expected. It's all the path of least resistance, I guess. Sprint down the hill. We actually have to hurry up. All of a sudden, cold is a problem again. And we did lose our shield. Oh god, what? I have to look, slide down here. Where do I... Okay, there we go. Are we... Is this the beginning? Hold on. Is this the same area we were at before? This looks kind of familiar. Uh, maybe it doesn't, though. Okay, so there's like a few fires we can see. I see at least two. There's a geyser over there. Let's try checking that out. Because this is a brand new area. I do want to check out what's going on. Although I do feel like this is... The beginning of the game, like, once again. Oh, that actually explains those bunkers we saw earlier. So, if this is the starting area, we'll find those bunkers again. Okay, this is not working. Let's go over to this bad boy. As I have a feeling if we find the bunker again, if we are in the same area as before, if 
Fine. I'm not lost, sir. I'm not lost. I'm I'm good. I'm good, man. I'm just walking around. But wait, it seems really late now. So I'm guessing she's probably dead already. Because she's been freezing up there for ages now, and she's probably wolf meat by now. Okay, I remember the sign. Yeah, 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 yeah. Another broken Shit. thing. Frozen shut. Oh, is it the same one? Can we go inside here? We cannot. Can clip through the thing a bit, but that's everything we can do. This thing, though. Okay, this is new. Okay, it's not the same old. It's missing the handle. So if we can just find the handle for this bad boy. We should be able to turn it on, maybe. I don't know. Okay, some more piperinos. Okay, this is definitely new. Oh, but holy, what the hell? What the hell is this animal? So it was a guy, but it's just a massive corpse of... <gasps> holy shit snacks. What are these things? They're huge. Looks like a some kind of dinosaur. Shush. Shush. All right, so this is this has got to be a puzzle, right? We have to like take these pipes and oh my, what is this graveyard? Oh god, there's the biggest one. What the hell? Oh my god! All right. All dead. Everywhere. Yeah, they're all dead. I know. They were. I cannot like recognize this. It looks like a bird skeleton. Are these like? Massive Albert. They look like dinosaur skeletons. I, I'll be completely honest with you. They look like dinosaur skeletons. Okay. Oh, J diary. I wonder why I keep these damn journals. There are so many things I wish I could forget. Today at the school site, my senses were filled with the buzzing of insects and the smell of the jungle. But then, all at once, I thought I was back in Belfast. The air rocked with a heavy thud of a bomb exploding. Stanley took off in a dead run towards the sound. Bakayo had set off an old landmine, and there was a man at the edge of the field shouting for everyone to stay back. But Stanley, he charged past him, splashing into the mud. I wanted to stop him. My voice froze in my throat when I saw Stanley lift the tiny body out of the grass. The boy's name was Udom. He had been walking with the cow. Udom's father collapsed. Stanley gently passed the boy to him. Udom's father kept apologizing over and over for not protecting him from the evils brought to this village. Damn. It's kind of sad. It's really sad. I think the kid's dead. Right, so... Oh, another journal page. So many funerals today. I was with Stanley at his father's funeral. There was quite a crowd of people. I told Stanley his father would be proud of the turnout, but he said Paddy would just want to make a speech. The police were watching the crowd, but they didn't bother anyone. They were hidden, but I spotted them straight away. I had to help Stanley write the eulogy for Paddy, but when it came time to read it, he couldn't speak. He gripped the sides of the lectern so hard, I feared it would splinter in his hands. Finally, Stanley said Paddy was the speech maker. But he wasn't enough like his father to do him justice. He just folded up the speech and left in silence. Again, very sad drilling pages today. Oh, it says Fidelio on the plane piece. Right, so we were looking for a handle, right? Not an online handle. But a handle, a metal handle. So we can turn the lever. Cannot climb this. It seems to be colder than before. I think we are freezing more quickly than we were well, when it was daytime. By the way, I know it's probably really, really dark right now. Actually, can I mo maybe modify the gamma a bit? Oh, that's wrong. Menu. Oh. Video. Yeah, there, there's no... There is no gamma settings. What the hell? Yeah, no gamma settings, unfortunately. I will try to brighten up the video a little bit, but... It's actually really dark for me, too. So, there's a high chance it will be pretty difficult to see what's going on. Okay, can we like break the sign, please? Oh, we can just walk through the sign, I guess. That's a thing. 
Can try climbing here, that doesn't help us. We're gonna go this, we cannot go this way. Never mind. I thought I was a genius for a second there, but I am not. I'm no genius. I'm just twisted. You know, I don't really want to go back. I think the... Logically speaking, the handle would be in this new area somewhere. I feel like it should be in this section with all these pipes. It's giving me a hint like, hey, there's something going on here. These pipes are important. Look at them. But it all seems kind of weird. Can we just use like a bone piece, maybe? Wouldn't that be a thing? That would be kind of cool. Oh, there we go. Told ya. Told ya. The pipes called to me. Let's go back to the thing. Uh, was it over here? Oh, don't fall down. Yeah, there we go. All right. Come back, open it up. Okay, we turn on the pipe. A lot of steam going off. It melted the ice. We can finally go in. We are finally inside. Oh my lord. Now it's dark. Oh, is it so dark? Oh, okay, we had a light. Good. Good, Gucci. That's all I ever wanted. All right, Helviti is there. Just help over here. So, is this entire underground complex connected? Very number one, it seems. Oh, we're gonna freeze here if we stay in it for too long? Very likely. What's this way? Just a dead end. Alright, good to know. Again, I don't know why we are walking in freezing water. That doesn't seem very healthy for our feet. They're probably gonna fall off at one point. Gotta go that way to Helviti? But what if we went this way instead? We find anything of value here, maybe? Okay. Come on. What does this do? This closed the thing now. Why did it close it? Were we supposed to go there? And open it up. Okay, I'm gonna, I think I have to close that, is my guess. I don't know why, but we're gonna do it anyways. We'll probably figure it out. I want to go all the way down. Who knows what we did. Actually, maybe closing it uh, turns on more of these... ...spray pipers. Same way that big pipe worked before. Okay, again, Helviti is this way. I bet this was frozen a minute ago and we turned this on. Right? Alright, the door closed. Of, of course it did. Again, I, I always want to explore. I always want to go the wrong way first, so I don't... Uh, so I can always backtrack. Again, this is a very, very creepy area. Not a huge fan of that. Go all the way here. We cannot go this way. Alright, good to know. So we were up there a minute ago. Close this. I don't know what that did exactly. I'm guessing, I'm guessing that it turned on the sprayers, which allowed the door to be opened because the water was frozen a minute ago. Maybe something like that. Let's go into area number two. Oh, but it's gonna lead to another platform, right? Not much okay, it's... Uh, it's apparently it's really cold in here. To move but it wasn't cold... ...in the frozen water for some reason? Okay, is this is this warm water? This is warm, okay, good. Uh, this, this is warm. What happens if we do this? That's a big fucking door. Oh, we open the doors now. Okay, so that's what that did, obviously. Okay, I definitely turn on these things, because they were definitely off before. Okay, good to know. Now they're gonna keep us warm. Oh, now this area is frozen. Oh, I see. Okay, I see. So now this area is frozen. Uh, that makes our life a little bit more difficult, I feel. 
Okay, it's now closed. I cannot go here. Okay, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay, let's let's run here then. Looks like it's been deserted for ages. Okay, this is actually bad. We're gonna die here. You open both of these guys. Come on. Okay, get to the warm area. So now we can go over here. And next a bunch of stuff. What is this? Key card. Let's see if it still works. What can I key with my key card is the question. So now that it's open, we can just move back and I'm guessing I'm guessing we have to turn like close open these guys again. It's just reverse what we did a minute ago, so we can actually open the door. Maybe. I just run for just go for it, man. Just go run. You gotta run now. You gotta run. Uh this way. It's, it's closer this way, I think. Ooh boy. There we go. Warm again. Alright. Now go back here. We may actually have to turn to close both of those guys off. Is my guess. I'm not 100 percent certain though. We'll see. It's gonna open and also gonna close the doors, right? It closes the doors and it all melts because it's no longer frozen. Alright, and this freezes again. Okay. Do we have to freeze them both now? That uh yeah, do we have to turn both of the valves now? I don't know, we'll see. First of all, let's just try going this way. And see what we encounter. There's got to be some way out. Okay, key card time. There you go. Were, weren't we here before? Okay, we, oh, okay, we definitely were not here before. Looks this. this looks very creepy. Yeah, I agree. Okay, let's sit down and... What the hell? Hello? Who's there? What the hell was that? We've been in a plane crash. My Excuse me? What the hell? The son of Patty Whitaker to do something like this. They say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, but it's like you came from a different tree altogether. What are you talking about? What are we doing here? You know exactly why you're here. I'm trying to find my wife. I've done nothing wrong. Usually I'd say that's a matter of perspective, but not in this case. Tell me where she is. I've only got one question for you, Stanley. Why did you bomb that pub? What? What's this about? You're talking about Rory's pub? You think I that did that? That was 30 years ago. Yeah, Max. That wasn't me. Rory was a mate. I would never I understand the question. I wasn't asking whether or not you did it. Why did you bomb that pub? Where is Leonor? Alright, this is very creepy. I don't know what's going on. This can't be real. This is some kind of nightmare or getting hallucinations. That's my guess because we've been walking in frozen water and we have hypothermia and we might actually be dead. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. It seems like a never ending corridor. No end in sight. Okay. Oh, there we go. End in sight. Is that me? Help me understand. 
There's nothing to understand. I didn't fucking do it, right? You've got the wrong fella. Okay. So we bombed or we were accused of bombing a pub. Wait to now. I'll go to the right. I'm guessing they connect up top anyways, right? They do not actually. My camera control is getting like erratic. I'm not moving the camera like this. I'm moving the camera, but it just it's not linear, it's very erratic. <laughs> it's gotta be paranoia, right? It's just creep down. Uh, Fiona Miller, was she mentioned in one of these diaries? Ma Fiona. We have Fi Fiona Miller in these diaries. Margaret Keane. Molly. Stanley. Ho hold on. Keen. My father got out of prison. Okay, I that's an eighty six, eighty seven, eighty eight, ninety. Okay, this is where we ran away. All right, the dream. And I'm guessing this is the nightmare. This is the nightmare Stanley was experiencing. Guessing it's coming back after a traumatizing experience. Hello, sir. Hello? Are you me? Am I you? Are we together? It's a weird pose. This seems like a, I've seen this one before. This seems like a labyrinth thing. This is like the worst design prison ever. It just quarters go left and right. It makes no sense at all. I have no idea who designed this. It's just poorly designed. And there's no end in sight, guys. This just makes no sense. And there's like the same dude in every cell. Makes no sense at all. Exit, yes! Let's go out. Come on. Oh, we're close. Oh, we're maybe not close. You're the one shagging Michael O'Shea's daughter. Too bad the fever out of this. What's she like, eh? Oh, but she's a wild one. What the fuck is this all about? I just might have to go pay her a visit while you're stuck in here. But she's got nothing to do with any of it. Maybe me and some of the lads. If you ever lay your fucking finger on her, you'll what? What'll you do? Blow me up too. You want to protect your little whore? Sign that statement. All right. So someone blew up the pub, and they wanted to just take the fault for it, even though we had nothing to do with it. Paper, diary page. Ok, 
We're definitely running in circles. This makes no sense. <gasps> Bone. It's gonna be Leonor. It's gotta. Stanley, can you hear me? Stanley, it's time to wake up. You have to move on. The dream is over. What the hell just happened? Okay, this is not the same phone. Right? This is a different phone now. Are we in a different location? It's over. This is really this, this game is getting really creepy. And are those bees? Or flies? And everything we're in a different place now? It's no longer fro what the hell? Okay, those are birds in the sky who are now gone. Huh? It's not as cold in this part of the island. Maybe this is not the same island. This is a nightmare. This makes no sense. Oh my lord. Oh god. I can hardly feel the pin in my fingers. My whole body is numb. I could hardly say the words on the page. I can't stop crying. They've taken away my heart. Stanley has been arrested for the bombing of Rory's pub. Someone must have set him up. I asked my father if he knew who would do this to Stanley. He just said that I should move on. Stanley won't live long inside prison. I nearly spit in his eye. I swear by all that's holy, if I find out that he had anything to do with Stanley being arrested, I'll burn him alive. Hunch? It was, it was a dad. The dad set him up. And you be brave, he's still in pain, and then they... Passports, and then they ran away. You'd love to get a to be brave. And there's like a few years gap. All right, so they ran away together after he ran from from prison. He's a wanted prisoner, wanted criminal. Although he probably didn't do anything, he was set up. Is my hunch. He might be like a complete nut job. I have no idea. These are very nice stairs. I like it. It's very fancy. But uh, this is not the same. Oh God. They're gonna kill us. Oh, okay. Oh my lord. That's kind of terrifying. Oh god, I hate bugs. Alright, so we no longer have to worry about the cold. We now worry about the bugs, apparently. These are like things in the sky are so terrifying. They're now all the way up there. Just somewhere we can't reach at the moment. I hope I didn't miss any diary pages, that would be kind of sad if I did. Because I'm actually having a ton of fun. Trying to figure out the story, put it all together. That tree. Holy shit, you're right. Monstrous. That's no tree. We're gonna have to walk on, huh? Alright. Everything is in place. But the air feels hollow and empty in my chest. Well, I can hear my heart pounding in my ears. In just a few hours. Life, as I know it, will be over. But that's only if I'm very lucky. Otherwise, my life will just be... over. Today I'm rescuing Stanley. You go, girl. Save him. This is... Okay, we're gonna go this way. So I'm guessing we have to climb this thing? We have to you turn these guys on? Come on. Oh. Why is this locked? Oh, because the other one's on? Oh, no, it can't be. Can it? Okay, more pages. We hadn't been to the ocean since spring, and it was a shock to see our tree so barren and frail. As we walked, Stanley wrapped his coats around my shoulders. It was still warm from his body, and I pulled the collar up to my nose to see if it still smelled like him. It didn't. It just smelled of dust and mothballs. Stanley said his father would bring him here and say, This is why we struggle. 
He thinks that now he finally understands what his father meant. But I wonder. I laid the jacket on the ground and pulled us both onto it. I just wanted to make him forget the rest of the day. I wanted to forget the rest of the world except for him. The grass was itchy and dry and the sky was as white as butcher paper. Neither of us bothered to speak another word. The cold wind would have just carried our words away. So this was after he died. It is after he died, alright. Good to know, good to know. It does, doesn't it? Can we go inside it? Oh, we totally can. I don't want to be here. Go out. Holy crap, that's sickening. Also very cold. This is warm. That's good. My guess is, okay, we have to open this thing. It's gonna scare the bugs away. Let's go into, we have to swim, we have to go there, right? We have to swim in there. We just gotta. Let's go, God. Okay, anything else in here? It appears to be it. Just go. We did something. We probably opened the thing. Open the hatch. Is my guess. Oh. Oh, at least that water isn't freezing. It just fell. Did we open it? We did not. But did we actually unlock this thing? I think that we did, right? Think that we did, we totally did. Awesome. Scare away the bugs. There we go. Easy enough. I don't think there there's a few more bugs on the way though. So there's some over there. But I guess we can walk on the tree, get down in that area, and then we can work out how to clear the bugs again. Alrighty. This seems like a reasonably decent spot to end this video. If you guys enjoyed, feel free to leave a like. Leave a comment, it helps out a great deal, more than you can even imagine. But yeah, once again, thank you guys very much for watching. My name's been Twisted from Hannah Games, and I will see you next time.